Zumiusius voice. In this video, we're going to sharpen this knife using membrane electrolysis. So over here we have a solution of uh, vinegar and salt that's soaked into this whetstone for a few days. Current limit is set to 1 amp. And this is the anode, this is the cathode, and this is the membrane. So this is a technique known as electrochemical or abrasive grinding. It is used to sharpen. And as you can see, whenever I sharpen this little bit of current running through, this is very important. This means that what we are in fact doing is we are generating, you know, we're, not ge we're essentially generating metal oxides at the uh, anode, which gets oxidized and rubbed away by the whetstone abrasively and continuously. The most important reason for this is because whenever you sharpen something, the biggest thing that prevents an edge from being built is a burr. And when you have a burr at the end of, a, of an edge, it is not very sharp. With just pure abrasive grinding, this burr exists. However, with electrochemical grinding, the burr is dissolved away by the uh, action on the, uh, of the... Uh, of the acidic uh, anions that are generated at the anode which oxidize the metal away and it sounds a little different from this it sounds more than the other style you know so yeah I'm sharpening this in real time and you notice that there's a little bit of a greenish tinge to it that means it's working right because that literally means that that's the uh, oxides being generated at the surface. Now I'm going to warn you something. Since this is stainless steel, it generates a bit of uh, chromium oxide as you're, you know, sharpening this thing. Not like a sharpening stone already looks green and probably contains chrome just to abrade stainless steel or whatever it contains. But basically, the uh, you have to wash your knives after you sharpen them this way. Do not directly use them on food because you do not want chromium oxide in your uh, food. Anyway, you'd sharpen this just like an ordinary knife and, well, you're going to get some amazing results. Basically, I've actually gotten myself in a very funny situation where I was cutting some food or some onions with an electrochemically sharpened knife and my fingernail was in the way. And without not much force, I kind of cut my fingernail in a funny way. And I had to like just get my nail cutter and sort of smooth it. But I don't know if you can see it, but like it has an, an uneven straight line cut. Although I've already cleaned it up. But basically, my fingernails are pretty long. And it sort of just cut straight across, which was not really the best thing. But after you've sharpened this for a while... You know, after and you cleaned it, you notice that the edge you formed. Okay, I should not do that. 